Lex. I'm worried about our son. And why is that, Margie? Well, I think he might be gay. And what gave you that impression? Well, he's having sex with boys. Excellent. Why, when I was his age, I was quite a hit with the lads as well. Margie, our son is a chip off the old block. No, Lex. This behavior is unnatural. Oh. And what do you mean by that? I mean that if nature had intended men to lie with men, nature would have shaped their biology to be able to procreate. Margie, I'm disappointed in you. You have just committed the fallacy of hypostatization, or reification. Lex, what in the Sam Hill are you saying? Our son is shacking up with Billy down the street during their sleepovers, and you accuse me of a fallacy. What our son does with his private parts is his own business. But, look, seriously, nature is a concept invented by humans. Nature doesn't intend for us to perform any behavior because it doesn't have the consciousness necessary for intention. I'm convinced that you're clinically insane. No, Margie, it is you who is clinically insane. If we were in a hurricane, would you say that nature intended for our house to be destroyed? Of course not, Lex. I'm not stupid. Well, wife of mine, you're seriously making me doubt that. Whereas if you destroyed our house, it's likely you would have intended to do so for the insurance money. Nature would have just blown it down because that's what happened. But our son, Lex, what does this have to do with our son? When our son feels that he wishes to insert his unmentionables into the neighbor boy, or the other way around I don't know, he can intend to do so, but nature can intend for him to do so or not to do so because nature is not a person. Oh. I was wrong. Maybe I should just buy our son some condoms instead of making him feel bad about what he does with his body.